Coming up on Wizarding Alice. here welcome back to my channel hello if you are new my name is Alice this is Wizarding Alice I cover all things Harry Potter Scotland lifestyle a real mix of things so be sure to subscribe if you're new to see all future content today is a super exciting video I'm starting it here because we're actually going on a trip and I know as soon as we go I'm going to be totally absorbed in whatever we're doing that I'm going to forget to do any kind of intro so it's actually the day before tomorrow we are going to Glenfinnan if you don't know that is a place on the sort of far west coast sort of west north coast of Scotland and it has a viaduct which is one of those train bridges where it goes like that I'm sure I've put a picture up to describe it better but it's actually where they filmed part of Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets where the flying car goes over the being chased by the Hogwarts Express and it goes over the bridge <laughs> with the train. We can't be far behind. Do you hear that? We must be getting close. Hold on. So we are actually going to that place today or tomorrow and it is another one of the filming locations that I can take off my list. So again, if you're new, I've been going to Harry Potter inspired places or filming locations. So I definitely recommend checking out those videos. I've got a playlist on my channel with all of them. So I'm super excited to take this one off. I have actually been before, I've been twice before and it's a really amazing place, even outside of the viaduct, you know, Fort William, places like that that are nearby are so beautiful. There's so many locks and mountains and cool things to see. So I can't wait to bring you along. So let's get started. And we start off with a bit of a weird one. I was trying to show you my outfit that I was wearing on this day, uh, but the camera wasn't done right. So I had to jump. So yeah, you got to experience that. So here we are. We have set off on our trip to Glenfinnan. Obviously, it depends on what way you're going there and where you've come from but if you're coming from like the Edinburgh Glasgow south area I highly recommend going the route where you go past um Glencoe and the three sisters and all of that because this route was spectacular it takes a little bit longer than some other routes but you get to see all the most beautiful parts of Scotland in my opinion I just I love my country in terms of its geography and nature I think it's so beautiful we stopped at this lock again stunning it was so pretty so peaceful some people there just taking pictures some people were swimming it was just so idyllic it looked very like Canada or maybe Alaska as well um, I just thought it was absolutely beautiful This is us now reaching Glencoe. If you don't know, it was the site of a very famous massacre. The Red Wedding from Game of Thrones was actually inspired by this historical event. Basically, one clan invited the other over for dinner and then killed them all. Basically, long story short. If you want to have one takeaway about Scottish history, is that it's very bloody and gross and violent. And finally, we reached Glenfinnan itself. And the first thing we did was did a quick five minute walk up to a viewpoint next to the visitor center. And we had this absolutely stunning view over the lake and at the monument. And you can see my attempts at pointing out that that is where they CGI Hogwarts Castle in. So that is actually the Black Lake, which is really exciting. So you might recognize parts of it. But it was a really amazing view up here. And if you just turned around, this was behind me. So that was our first glimpse of the beautiful viaduct. So once we were down, we uh, down from the viewpoint, I should say, we walked over to the beach that this uh, lock actually has. And we got to have a better view of the monument. It was in, um, what's the word? 
com commemoration of the Jacobites who um, supported Bonnie Prince Charlie. You can look that up if you're interested in history because it's certainly an interesting part of Scottish history. And again, there is the Black Lake in all its glory. That's not its real name. It's called Loch Spiel, but um, it's really beautiful. And again, just zooming in on where Hogwarts Castle would be, but we are mere muggles and cannot see it. But it's certainly surrounded by some beautiful landscapes, that's for sure. And then we headed on the walk proper. This walk really wasn't anything crazy. Um, the place isn't entirely wheelchair accessible just because it is, you know, rugged. But if you're an okay walker, I wouldn't say it was too difficult for you to walk over to the viaduct. And we had a little surprise. We got to see a train go over, which was really cool. It wasn't the Hogwarts Express that we were looking for, but it was pretty cool to see an actual train go over the viaduct because of the times I'd been before, I'd never seen that happen. So that was really cool. This is when we got a bit closer. So you can get really, really close to the viaduct, which is cool. Even if you're not here to see the train or anything like that, just getting close to such a cool engineering architectural marvel it was pretty amazing and when we got up to the viewpoint we had a fantastic view and then we just waited for the steam train to come along so i think i will let you see that in all its glory that was that from there we um, went out to eat I got some tomato pasta it was delicious and some chips we went to pit lockery on the way back and got it from there and then we just headed home so this is us going over the famous fourth road bridge or I think it's called the Queen Elizabeth bridge I don't know there's three bridges but it was a very cool way to get home and we had a fantastic time and that is the end of the video I have just got back I've showered I've taken the day off me i had the most fantastic time but it has certainly been a long day we were gone for about 10 and a half hours which was pretty good because we did well with traffic we were thinking about 12 so that's maybe something to consider if you're interested if you're maybe staying in the edinburgh glasgow area and are interested in going to glenfinnan um it is a whole day experience so that's something to consider so we had a fantastic time but i'm very tired now especially because i was away at the weekend as well today's tuesday and i was away at the weekend i'm um, doing lots of walking and things so i am done in do i feel refreshed for going back to work tomorrow absolutely not but it's fine but that is why i'm sitting on the floor in my dressing gown which seems to be a staple of my videos now and i am eating grapes as i do it anyone else like i will not eat green grapes i will only eat red and black grapes green grapes just taste disgusting to me for some reason even though they probably taste exactly the same i'm getting off track i've you're being balanced on some knitted pumpkins i'm tired i'm delirious let's end this video thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed as i said i'm going to load more harry potter filming locations doing way more harry potter related stuff i'm so excited about content i have coming up in the future so please subscribe it would mean the absolute world to me and please like and comment on this video let me know what you thought of the real life hogwarts express hopefully one day i can actually go on the train and film it from another point of view um and with that that is the video over and i will see you next time Bye.